Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. This nested exponent of 3 raised to power 2, raised to power 3, raised to power 2, raised to x, minus 6,561 equals 0. Before we start, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. So let's start solving the problem. And obviously, we need to find the value of x. From here, I'm transposing the constant to the right. They will become now 3 power 2 to the power 3 power 2 power x equals 6,561. From here, we focus our attention to the right side of the equation. 6,561 could be written the same way as uh, 3 raised to power 8. And from here, we're substituting the value of 6,561 to 3 raised to the 8th power. So the equation now is 3 raised to power 2, power 3, raised to power 2, raised to power x, equals 3 raised to the 8th power. Now, if you notice, the base, left and right, right side of the equation, is now the same. So we have a formula to apply to that, the power formula. The exponent uh, rules, one of them, is a raised to b equals a raised to c. Therefore, b equals to c. Since they have the same base, we can equate now the exponents. b is equals to c. So all throughout our solution, we'll be using this power rule. Since the base are the same, we are now equating the exponent. All right, so let's go to this second stage. Now the equation is now 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2, raised to power x is equal to 8. And from here, 8 could be re written the same way as 2 raised to the third power. Substituting the value of 8, the equation now is equal to 2 raised to the third power. So the equation now is uh, 2 raised to power 3 raised to uh, power 2 raised to the x power equals 2 raised to the third power. Likewise in here now again we have the same base. So we're equating the exponent. So the uh, equation is now 3 raised to power 2 to the power x is equal to 3. All right, from here again, we have base 3, we have base 3, but uh, 3 can be written the same way as 3 raised to the power 1, and we substitute that, that value of 3 to this equation. So this equation now, 3 raised to the power 2 to the power x equals 3 raised to the power 1. If you notice, they have the same base again, so we ended up equating the exponent again so the equation now comes to 2 to the power x is equals to 1 and from here we'll be using the logarithm the laws of logarithm that is logarithm of 2 raised to the power x equals logarithm of 1 so from here, we're, we're using the uh, logarithm formula, that is logarithm of uh, b to the base a raised to x is equal to x logarithm of b to the base a. That means the exponent is, uh, is going to the, the left side of that. That will become a coefficient. All right, so let's use that on here. So, so this is now, we're putting the x as a coefficient now. So that is now x log, log of 2 equals log of 1. So from here, to find the value of x, we divide both sides of the equation with logarithm of 2, log of 2, divide by log of 2. So this now cancels. We have x is equal to log of 1 divided by log of 2. And from here, since we all know that the 
logarithm of 1 is equal to 0 that's on the base 10 so this just simply means that uh, to, to prove that logarithm of 1 is 0 that is this logarithm equation is written the same way as on a exponent form that is now 10 raised to 0 equals 1 and from here any number raised to 0 equals 1 so it's always 1 any number raised to 0 equals 1 so this just proves that logarithm of 1 to base 10 is 0 so going back to the equation so the value of x now x is equal to 0 divided by log of 2 equals 0 so value of x is equals 0 so that's our final answer and if we were to check our answer we substitute the value of x equals to 0 to the original equation so in here I've just written the uh, original equation again and we have just found that the value of x is 0 so we're using that x is equal to 0 so we are now checking our answer. Now we focus our attention on the topmost exponent, 2 to the x. This is the value of x now right here as 2 raised to x, where x is equal to 0. This is 2, 2 raised to 0 equals 1. So from here, the this left side of the equation becomes... 3 raised to 2 raised to 3 raised to 2 raised to x is 1 and now we focus on this uh, exponent right here 3 raised to 1 is equal to 3 so this nested exponent becomes 3 raised to 2 raised to 3 raised to the first power is 3 and we focus our attention on this one again 2 raised to the third power is equal to 8. So we have here now the value of this exponent to the third power is 8. And now this term can be written now as uh, 3 raised to the 8th power. And now we have to write the whole equation right here on top. That is 3 raised to 8th power minus 6561 equals 0. And from earlier, we have found that the, uh, the, the value of this constant right here, 6,561, is 3 raised to the 8th power. Using this value, substituting this on the, in the equation, see the equation now, 3 raised to the 8th power minus 6,561 is 3 to the 8th power equals 0. So 3 to the 8th power minus 3 to the 8th power, that is 0. So... 0 equals 0. All right, so we have just confirmed that the value of our, that x we have found is 0. And so that's all for now. And uh, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I will appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.